and welcome to listeners on VHF who've just joined Radio 1, not only for the Top 40, but also for the rest of the evening as well. Do not forget that you can hear the nation's top chart show in Super Stereo right now on VHF. Tommy Vance, this week's Top 40 on Radio 1. And this is the Top 40 as compiled for the BBC by the British Market Research Bureau. Hi, I'm Tommy Vance and I trust you're in very good form. We have eight new entries this week. The rest go up and down. Down from number 21 to 40, Is It a Dream by Classics Nouveau. Down from 32 to number 39, A Bunch of Time by Foster and Allen. Number 37. Here's another new one by Patrice Russian. That lady is astonishingly talented. At the age of six, she was giving classical recitals in the United States of America. She's a graduate of UCLA in music in the United States of America. She's worked on the albums of John Luke Ponte and also did the keyboard work with Minnie Riverton. Her name is Patrice Russian. That's her single this weekend at number 37, which is called Forget Me Nots. Number 33 is new from Queen. Yeah, 
body Don't talk, 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 don't talk Body language Body language Body language making hit records way back in 1974. Freddie Mercury wrote that song. That is Body Language by Queen, who are going to do, be doing some enormous concerts. On the 29th of May, they're at Leeds Football Ground. They do two enormous gigs, the 1st and 2nd of May in Edinburgh. And the 5th of June, they will be in Milton Keynes. Body Language by Queen, a new entry at number 33. Up from 36 to 32, here's Daryl Hall, John Oates, Private Eyes.
that's the remix version of Silver Sea over, uh, rather on sale over here in the United Kingdom and also was the title track of their album. Daryl Hall and John Oates, last week they were at number 36. This week they've gone up to number 32 with their private eyes. Number 31. Here's a new one from Yazoo. like a story of love Can you hear me? Came back only yesterday I'm moving farther away Won't you need me? All I needed was the love you gave All I needed for another day And all I Clark on the keyboards. He used to be in Depeche Mode. He also wrote their three first hits and Alison Genevieve Moyer, who actually comes from Basildon. They call themselves Yazoo. It's straight in this week at number 31. Its title is Only You. Down from 20 to 30, Don't Love Me Too Hard, The Nolans. Down from 27 to number 29, Jay Giles Band and...
If you ever get the chance to go and see them live, do. They are magic on stage. Down from last week's number 27 to this week's number 29, the Jay Giles Band and Freeze Frame. Down from number 26 to number 28, David Bowie, Cat People, putting out fire. Making records for so long, he's a national institution. Last week at number 26, this week down to number 28. David Bowie and Cat People putting out fire. Down from 19 to 27, altered images. See those eyes. Gummy Vance. This week's the 40 of one. Last week 35, this week number 26. Hot chocolate.
Completing work on their new album, and during late August and September, they should be touring in this country. That's Hot Chocolate, Girl Crazy. Last week at 35, this week up to number 26. Down from 14 to number 25, Ghosts by Japan. We have a new entry at number 24 by the Scottish World Cup squad.
A song was written by B.A. Robertson and the commentary in the song is done by John Gordon Sinclair who appeared in the film called Gregory's Girl. A new entry this week at number 24 by the Scottish World Cup squad is called We Have a Dream. The Gumbe Dance Band have wept themselves down from number 13 to number 23 with seven tears. Up from 31 to 22, Spandau Ballet. Stealing gate to eat them. Last week a new entry at 39, this week all the way up to 17, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts.
You can see that lady in person on this week's Top of the Pops. This week it's at number 17 from last week's number 39. Joan Jett and the Blackhearts and I Love Rock and Roll. Will DLT shave off his beard if he goes top five, or will he buy the shaving company? Up from 18 to 16, Monsoon. This week, last week at number 18, this week up to number 16. Monsoon and Ever So Lonely and Sheila Chandra, the lead singer, has popped off to India for a while. Number 13. By PhD.
Last week at number 34, this week up to number 13. That's PhD on I Won't Let You Down. Jim Diamond, the lead singer, used to be with a band called Bandit, who made two very good albums. And Tony Hymas, who is the keyboard player, made a fine album once with Jeff Beck and used to conduct the music for the Ballet Rombert. Down from number 5 to this week's number 12...
Charles Shirley and Shaky are currently on tour in Europe. Last week at number 22, this week, Shake and Stevens and Shirley have gone up to number 6. Up from 17 to 5, Banana Rama really saying something. Splitting with a fun boy three. Last week at number 17, this week up to number five. There you have them with really saying something. This is the England World Cup squad, and England will fly the flag.
other side is called This Time We'll Get It Right. It's the England World Cup squad and England will fly the flag. Last week, number 11. This week, it's number four. A lyric pertinent, I think, not only to Spain. Still at number three, Pig Bag. Records now been on release for precisely one year. It's still there at number three. It's Pig Bag, and Papa's got a brand new Pig Bag. Last week six, this week two. This is Bardo.
This week at number two, here's the chart rundown from 20 to 2. It's the happy, happy sound. Tommy Vance of Radio 1. Now is the time for you to stride, for you to get better in what you are doing. At number 20, Dear John, status quo. 19, promised you a miracle, simple minds. 18, View from a Bridge, Kim Wilde. 17, I Love Rock and Roll, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. 16, Ever So Lonely, Monsoon. 15, Light Birds, Shack Attack. 14, More Than This, Roxy Music. 13, I Won't Let You Down, PhD. 12, Ain't No Pleasing You, Chaz and Dave. 11, My Camera Never Lies, Bucks Fizz. 10, Blue Eyes, Elton John. 9, Fantastic Day, Haircut 100. 8. Give Me Back My Heart Dollar 7. I Can Make You Feel Good Shalimar 6. Shirley Shaken Stevens 5. Really Saying Something Banana Rama with the Fun Boy 3 4. England Will Fly the Flag The England World Cup Squad 3. Papa's Got a Brand New Pig Bag Buy Pig Bag And at number 2 this week One Step Further That's by Bardo Britain's number 1 What we need to survive Together
that, still the number one record in the United Kingdom, Ebony and Ivory, Paul McCartney and Stevie Wonder. And incidentally, it's the first time Stevie Wonder's ever been involved in a number one record in our country. Production on the Top 40 is by Bernie Andrews. My name is Tommy Vance. Wherever you are, I wish you well. Hope you're happy, secure, and very, very contented. Good night. It's seven o'clock. This is Gavin Campbell at the news desk. Political and diplomatic efforts have returned to the forefront in the Falklands dispute following yesterday's fighting. Mrs Thatcher and her inner cabinet met for almost four hours at Chequers and it was announced that the Prime Minister had invited leaders of the other main parties for talks when the Foreign Secretary, Mr Pym, returns from the United States. The Liberal leader, Mr David Steele, and Dr David Owen of the Social Democrats have accepted, but the Labour leader, Mr Michael Foote, has just announced that he won't be attending the talks. Mrs Thatcher had stipulated that these should be on Privy Council terms. Our political correspondent says this would have meant the discussions would have been held in secret, and Mr Foote wants to remain completely free to speak out on behalf of the opposition in the Commons. In Washington, Mr Pym has met the Secretary of State, Mr Haig, and he'll later have talks with the Defence Secretary, Mr Caspar Weinberger, on how the United States might provide fuel, ammunition and spare parts to help the British military effort. Tomorrow, he'll go to New York to meet the United Nations Secretary General. The Ministry of Defence has said that there are no reports of further fighting after yesterday's air and sea engagements. A spokesman repeated that British forces shot down an Argentine fighter and a bomber in yesterday's action. All British planes had returned safely and Britain had suffered only one slight casualty when the Argentine Air Force retaliated and attacked the British fleet. Able seaman Ian Britnell, a gunner and missile operator, suffered a splinter wound. But in Buenos Aires, the military junta is claiming yesterday's action as an Argentine victory. They say five British Harriers were brought down and the newspapers carry reports of substantial victories. The official news agency in Argentina has now said their planes severely damaged the aircraft carrier Hermes during yesterday's attack, but this has been strenuously denied by the Ministry of Defence in London.